It's been a busy month here on Quantum Fly, and uh, we're back here in the airport. In fact, we're in the brand new Terminal C uh, at Orlando International. Pretty big, pretty cavernous. See behind me, very large area. And we are just about ready to get on da, 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 the queen of the sky. 747 direct to Frankfurt. Got an event uh, at our main headquarters in Germany. And then from there, we're going to Oktoberfest. Right, babe? Yes. Yes. Oktoberfest. And uh, this is the way to do it. We'll be leaving around 8 o'clock. And um, we'll get into uh, Frankfurt at 11, about 11 o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, we're going to try and uh, try to do our best to get some sleep. And uh, we wake up in Germany, hopefully refreshed and ready to roll. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. This is Debbie's first trip on the 747, so we're real excited for her. Anyway, I'll get some shots when we get in. We are in business class, um, which I don't know how that changes from first class, but uh, we'll, we'll see you when we get inside. See you. Okay, if you can hear me, welcome to business class concept. And uh, your roomie up here. Hello. We're at 11 H and K. Just toward the front of the plane, you can see. See the nose of the plane up there. This is business class, first class, but still. Pretty roomy here. And then we do have the lay flat seats. So we should be able to get some uh, shut eye on this flight. At least she will. I won't. She will. But uh, yeah, not bad. Heading to Germany and hopefully eventually Oktoberfest. sevens here in Frankfurt, Germany. And get the 
Pride Front. Just walked out of the main train station, also known as the Hauptbahnhof. And we are walking. Debbie's already freezing. It's gotta be what, 55? <laughs> and the scooters are in Europe too. All the taxis are Mercedes. <laughs> That's the Chevy of Germany. A large city in the US, you know. vielleicht ein bisschen was damit zu tun, dass du mich niemals schlagen konntest. Was? Du? Ich? Nein. Regeln wir das gleich? Du und ich? Eins gegen eins? Welcome to Germany in September. It's nice and balmy warm out here. Isn't it? It's, it's kind of chilly for a couple of Floridians here at the train station in uh, Frankfurt. Um, heading to Dortmund today. Uh, to meet with uh, the team there in uh, at Velo, and um, we're going to do a quick uh, run through of this uh, presentation I'm supposed to do tomorrow, and uh, then after that we're technically we're back on vacation, so we're uh, taking the train back down south to hopefully warmer climates to Munich and Oktoberfest, so. Stick around, it's gonna get fun. Okay, morning of uh, Tuesday. Uh, today is my uh, presentation uh, here in uh, Germany, specifically Dortmund, Germany, which is the uh, Westphalia region of uh, Germany. It, I'm, I'm here in my short sleeve shirt, but uh, uh, you can't really feel and understand the temperature. It feels very much like fall right now. It's chilly out here. Uh, and there's a little bit of a wind. There's not much sun up in the sky there, you can see. <clears throat> but today's my presentation. So far, so good. Tomorrow we catch the train and we head on down to uh, uh, Oktoberfest in Munich. And, you know, it is south, so hoping maybe it'll warm up a little bit. But uh, this is definitely, uh, you definitely feel, I'm feeling fall-like right now. <laughs> This is nothing like Florida fall, of course, but uh, this is more like a Florida January or February or something. It's it's chilly, plus the wind. So um, we're up, had breakfast. Breakfast was fantastic. Coffee here in Europe is great. I love their coffee. For some reason, it, I don't know, it's better than ours. Uh, just kind of take our time. I don't have to be there. I'm doing the presentation probably at like three three o'clock, four o'clock because we're six hours ahead of uh, North America. So 
This is going to be done all at the same time. They're in North America uh, this afternoon here this early evening in Europe. So we'll keep you posted. Why in interrupting the domino effect? Something yes. that is good? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm to trying to think that. how we can expand a little bit more and get more in there. Um, what I would prefer to talk about is design. Okay. How does design affect that domino? Okay. Now, first, I have the microphone and share uh, Ayana Kazmon, and then I give you mine for your. Oh. Oh, okay. So not yet. Not yet, but we try. Okay. Was was kind of trying. Very yeah. I I am working on my German. Uh, here. Dave, nice to see you. And um, again, before we start, and I think you're ready to start. We see your presentation here on our screens. You have your pointer, and for you out there, if you also have questions to Dave directly. Feel free to ask it in the chat function, and we will talk about the questions afterwards. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here today. Not only is it my pleasure to be here at the headquarters here in Dortmund, but as the newest acquisition in the Velo Group, I'm proud to represent uh, Quantum Flow and our message for the sustainable design goal number nine. There's so much I could speak of when we talk about the, the impact of innovation, and I see it all around this campus, uh, everywhere I go, and I see it in the history of the Velo brand and, and, the, and the company itself. Uh, we could talk about this for a long time, but I've only got about 30 minutes to do it, so I'll try to squeeze in what I can. <laughs> Okay, one of my favorite parts of Munich is the English Garden that we're walking through right now. Kind of like Central Park. It's just a giant uh, park, giant gardens in the middle of Munich. And scattered throughout the park are these uh, beer gardens. Of course, right now, given Oktoberfest going on in the weather, which is not optimal, a lot of the beer gardens are closed, but uh, just, you know, this is really what makes this city special is that there's both, you know, the, the city life, the cosmopolitan, and then right smack dab in the middle, just like New York, there's this beautiful park and a river flowing through it right here. It just kind of meanders through and of course, back there, we saw the, the young kids uh, surfing the rapids on the same river. So just a really neat, uh, one of my favorite things about Munich, well, besides the beer, uh, is, is the English garden. So this is a must see. Uh, we just happen to be using the garden as a shortcut as we walk to the other side from where our hotel is. Our hotel is on the, on the east side of the gardens. We're walking uh, through the southern part of the English Garden to the west side, the Marienplatz, and uh, which is where the Glockenspiel is. For those of you not familiar, that's the uh, the clock tower with the little animated uh, uh, people uh, underneath the clock. So really cool place, one of my favorite cities in the world, uh, Munich. And Debbie's hair is all matted and wet. <laughs> okay, this is the Bavarian State Chancellery. This is the state government. It's our government seat. 
pretty. <laughs> Helmet is on YouTube! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's rainy, but we don't care. <laughs> We're in Munich. Oh, the Dutch. Ah, Dutch the Dutch fountain. Dutch. The Dutch Dutch. Thank you. Next time on Quantum Fly, after 20 years of planning, Helmut and I finally make it to Oktoberfest. We get an inside tour of Bavaria and the BMW facility. And yes, we find airplanes in downtown Munich.